Hi guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the Inktense pencils. I absolutely love these pencils. Uh, these pencils are one of the uh, first pencils that I ever bought and I wanted to talk about it um, now sooner than later. That's because I found an excellent deal on Amazon. I bought this about several years ago on Amazon. I spent about hundred and twenty nine dollars for this set of the 72 and uh, at that time that was the best deal that I could find um, because you do want to shop around and get the best deal possible and right now I found on Amazon for the 72 set it was like 68 or something like that and so I thought that was a fantastic deal at least for me because that's like half the cost of what I uh, actually paid for these so if you guys were thinking of purchasing um, uh, intense pencils and uh, you're waiting for a great deal I think anyways uh, that's a great deal so if you want to uh, take advantage of that um, I am an affiliate uh, I have an affiliated account with Amazon uh, and that's because 90% uh, of my art supplies are purchased from there so I thought that would be ideal but um, so if you click the link that I provide um, I get a small percentage of your sales uh, but if you definitely don't need to do that you can uh, just go directly to your Amazon account and search for intense uh, pencil 72 and several options will come up and hopefully you can find that sixty eight dollars or so uh, deal if you want to uh, pick that up so let's talk a little bit about the intense pencils uh, what these are are uh, they are uh, water soluble ink in a pencil form so they're not actually considered a watercolor pencils they're uh, ink that's in a pencil form but uh, they have a vivid uh, very vibrant intense colors and um, these are made in the UK in England and um, they have a uh, like this is a 72 set so it comes in two tray forms like this uh, they have excellent quality control I, I had no problems with these uh, pencils breaking or anything like that uh, and I did make a color chart color chart is very useful that's because you can't really tell the colors by the tips of these pencils but I think that goes for all watercolor pencils so you do want to swatch them out that would be very helpful so this is, uh, I mentioned it's a 72 set and um, they have a really thick uh, core which is a 4 millimeter core. So you get a lot of product in this uh, pencil and uh, they have the name written on the pencil as well as the corresponding numbers. And um, so these are really great. And then uh, what's different about these versus uh, other watercolor pencils is that once they are uh, dried, after you liquefy them, once they are completely dried, these are permanent. And so that's a great factor uh, with these pencils that makes them different than the other watercolor pencils. And they are actually permanent on a uh, fabric as well. I think, I think so. Um, I think that's what I found out was that they are uh, permanent on fabric. You might want to use like um, uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you have to use like a fabric medium with it or not uh, but uh, that's great to know. I've never tried it on fabric but I love uh, coloring my images with this. I haven't used them in a long time but uh, it's good to bring out um, your uh, goodies and try them out so here I kind of swatched out some colors for you and uh, to see the um, how they liquefy if you press really hard and uh, when you try to liquefy them the uh, pencil lines will show up so if you want a soft blend you want to do a light hand uh, and if you want darker colors you can uh, go over it again once it's dried because they are permanent okay so enough talk about that and let's do some coloring so you can see. 
So what I decided to do is I stamped out this uh, super cute um, uh, stamp set that I just got, which is the cats. I know they have the dogs, and I haven't had a chance to pick them up, but this is the crazy cat. I think they are so fun, just like the um, crazy birds. They're like my absolute favorite things because of their expressions. It's, it's hilarious. And then I found this on the uh, Hallmark scrapbook at for like $18. And I think that is a great deal. Uh, so I picked them up. I, I should have picked up the dog one too, but I didn't. And maybe I'll go ahead and pick those up later on. But they're super fun. So what I did was I stamped the cat out which is this one right here. And then I also stamped out the uh, mini bird, which is from the mini bird crazy and things. And I thought that was hilarious. And I put a flattened out. Let me bring you in a little bit. I uh, put a flattened out uh, balloon there. And um, the cat's expression is so funny. And I this is my favorite bird. So uh, I want to go ahead and color that. So I chose out some colors already, so I wouldn't be um, looking for them. So what I like to do is I like to put the colors down where I want the darkest to be, obviously. And then these are really great um, stamp set to color because they already give you where the shadings are supposed to be. So that's pretty fun. I'm going to go ahead and color this pretty quickly because I don't want this video to be too long. And you don't need to put down that much because of the fact that they are uh, highly pigmented. I'll probably be fast forwarding this if this video is too long because I do want to show you how you can color on regular cardstock. Now this is a watercolor cardstock. Okay, so I fast forwarded it the fast forwarded this to four times so you don't have to sit here and uh, watch me color for too long. So what I did was um, I added the darker area and then now I'm using my water brush to uh, bring out the colors. As you can see, you don't need very much. And I'm blotting out some uh, colors uh, if I need it. And you can also grab the colors with on the tip of the pencil with the water brush. And that will give you more intense of a color so you can layer on top this way if you like. So I color the uh, cat with the Payne's gray. And now I'm using this deep blue to color my bird. And you'll see how vibrant and bright that is. Actually, it was a little bit more brighter than uh, what I wanted. So I dabbed some off. And then now I'm using the sun yellow here. I'm kind of mixing around the head area with the blue and the yellow that makes like a greenish teal. And now I'm using, uh, this is Lagoon I believe it's called. It's like a purplish color. And I've added the same Payne's Gray to the bird's eye. And I use the deep blue for the cat's eye. So I think I used about maybe six colors total. And I'm putting some uh, shading uh, at, on the ground for them to kind of stand on. And now I wanted to show you how you can color with these pencils on a regular cardstock. 
So this is just the regular cardstock. This is a Nina 80 pound. And again, I'm doing the same thing and I'm using the same colors because I wanted you guys to kind of see the difference between the two. And these colors are very vivid, so uh, it's great uh, if you want to use it on regular cardstock. But you can't uh, overwork it too much, otherwise the paper would peel up. What I like to use is a blender pen when I'm doing this on a regular cardstock. Because it kind of uh, glides, so uh, it doesn't peel up the paper as fast as uh, like if I was to use a water brush. So you can get a really soft uh, blend, almost like a marker look. And I like to do this on like my adult coloring books and things. But you have to be aware that you can't overwork an area for long. Just lay down the color and then uh, blend it out. And you can add a little more if you need to. Here I'm using uh, some orange for his uh, the bird's uh, beak. I'm using the same colors for the birds that I use on the other bird. So this is a great way you can uh, color on a regular cardstock uh, using uh, these pencils. And I've used other uh, watercolor pencils this way as well. Somebody told me that this wasn't a recommended uh, way of using these pencils, but I had no problem uh, using it this way with the blender uh, pens. And you can use any blender pens. So this one I kind of mixed more of the yellow and the blue. quickly wanted to show you the difference. So there you go. Left is a watercolor cardstock and right is a regular cardstock. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.